Delivering cell products is a huge responsibility. At Stanford Cell Therapy, we live that responsibility. It's part of what motivates our team to get up in the morning, and we take it very seriously. Our cell pharmacy team has been established at Stanford primarily to support sponsors and what they need in order for them to perform their clinical trials. Our staff have a lot of experience and are really familiar with procedures and processes that are very complex. Any cell therapy facility is a bridge between industry and the patients, and we've spent decades building that bridge. We meet the highest regulatory requirements and we hold ourselves accountable to the highest quality in receiving our patient products, understanding where they are and how they get to the patient, but also the flexibility to deal with the unexpected and to find more efficient ways of doing things together. We have 30 years of experience, we have state-of-the-art facilities, and we have staff who really understand how important it is that your cells are handled and stored by experts. The process starts when your physician will order an apheresis collection, which will happen in the cancer center. Once your procedure is completed, the cell therapy facility staff will pick up your product, and this is where the chain of custody starts. The product will be handed over and documented as it's passed from the nursing staff to the cell therapy facility staff. The cells are placed in a cooler which has a temperature tracking device and the technician will then walk the cells in the cooler over to the cell therapy facility. This takes about 10 minutes. The cell therapy facility is a controlled access facility. We have to use our badges in order to scan into the facility and only people that are authorized by Stanford Healthcare can go through this facility. In order for the staff to enter the facility, they have to gown up with a laboratory gown, booties, hair covers, and gloves, and then they can cross over into the facility. When the cells arrive at the facility, the labeling and paperwork is verified a second time. The CTF has very standard and well-established procedures for handling product that have to be adhered to. Only one patient cells can be handled in a bay at any one time. All the equipment in the CTF is very carefully checked and maintained on a very strict schedule and we have strict cleaning procedures to make sure everything is clean and sterile. Products are stored in temperature monitored equipment until infusion day or day of shipment. For cryopreserved products we use liquid nitrogen freezers. Fresh products are stored in a refrigerator designated just for product storage. All the equipment used to store cells is monitored 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If any excursions occur outside of normal working hours, we have an on-call tech who will come into the department to check everything is okay. Once the products have been verified by a second tech, the staff will pack the product into the shipping container as per our own established procedures or the unique sponsor instructions if required. CTF staff will let you know when your product is ready for collection. One of the advantages of being at Stanford is, of course, that we're always looking to the future. We're actively involved in developing new cell therapies in conjunction with our excellent physicians that hopefully will become mainstream one day. We're well established as a leading cell therapy facility. We've evolved with the times and have taken on the new mantle of delivering now commercial products to our patients. And we have an expert team that takes very good care of your product and the patients that they deliver the products to. Thank you for taking the time to learn about our facility. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions. <music>